Hey, what's up? Manish here and welcome to another very exciting video tutorial. Today, we'll be taking a look at on how to integrate the weather extension onto the top panel in the Genome 3 uh, environment. So, um, before I start off with the video, I want to rest assured that this video is going to be way better than any of our previous video tutorials. And uh, I know I've said that before perhaps once or twice, but this time and perhaps next time when I make a new video tutorial, uh, I'll be saying the same thing all over again, <laughs> you know, routine. Uh, so, um, in order to install the weather extension onto your onto the top panel in the Genome 3 environment, all you got to do is that we need to follow major three steps: step one, step two, and step three. All right. So, in step one, what you got to do is that you need to execute these three commands one by one in the terminal. So, pull up the terminal and execute these three commands one by one. And once you're done executing all these three commands, uh, you'll have the weather extension installed on your computer. So uh, once you've completely uh, installed uh, the weather extension, you need to install a tool called as Genome Tweak Tool, all right? So Genome Tweak Tool is a tool by which you can manage all your extensions in your computer. Uh, you can turn on and turn off the extensions which you don't want and uh, uh, so that's all about this uh, Genome Tweak tool. It helps you to manage the uh, extensions which you have installed on your computer. So once you're done uh, executing this command onto your terminal, you can go to the step three. That is, you can you need to log out or you need to restart your computer. So um, once you're done restarting your computer, you need to uh, search for advanced setting. Click on the icon. Oh God, why is it so slow? I'm running on an i5 processor. Oof. Okay. Once you have clicked on the advanced setting, you'll have this window turned on. Go to the shell extension and make sure that you have this weather indicator extension turned on. So once it's turned on, you'll have this icon of placed over here. But there's a minor problem here that is the weather extension won't know automatically where you're located. So you need to tell the extension that your exact location in order to display the current temperature of the location where you live in. So in order to tell the extension where you live in, you need to go to preferences and then go to the first section that is WOEID. So you need to paste the location ID right over here. Uh, the location ID can be uh, got from this particular website and the, all the commands and the links related to this video will be in the description. Please check them out. So over here in the search section, you need to type the location where you live in. I live in Mangalore, so I'll be typing in Mangalore and hit on search. You'll have this location ID over here. Copy it and just paste it over here and hit enter. So once you have uh, pasted the location ID, the weather extension will automatically update the the, the the current temperature to the location where you live in so uh, that's all guys I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, please do rate and subscribe and like our FP fan page for regular updates take care